scary moments caught on camera right here. This video shows a man trying to kidnap that woman while she was working at Lowe's in Bartlesville. You can see she's trying to fight back right there. Wow. I'm Shay Rod. How is this a racist? Ain't this the South? In the South, it's sundown towns. Look, look, like, all this shit about the South. The South, yeah, especially because I'm from the South. I know what racism I'm from the South. Look at this son, man. The poor girl is just getting, a, he just sliding her across the floor. He, he going into, this is her job. This is the sales floor at Lowe's. Anybody could be in the court. Man, this is insane. It's caught on camera right here. This video shows a man trying to kidnap that woman while she was working at Lowe's in Bartlesville. You can see she's trying to fight back right there. Wow. I'm Shay Razi. And I'm Sarah Whaley. Glad you're with us tonight. Absolutely terrifying for that woman, I'm sure, when this happened last night. Mm -hmm. New at 5, Fox 23 is Alex Cash is live at the Bartlesville Police Department with what she's learned about the case and the man arrested. Alex? Well, police here at Bartlesville Police Department say they've never seen anything like this before, and they think it was an isolated incident. Police say the woman wasn't injured, but they say they don't think the suspect and the victim know each other, and they've got no idea why this person was targeted. This is the moment a man tried to force a woman who was working in a shop in Bartlesville out of the store in a kidnapping attempt that police describe as terrifying. It's very shocking, especially in, in our community, I think. I've been here for over 10 years and this is the first time I've seen anything like this. On this surveillance video, the man can be seen pushing the woman, grabbing hold of her hands and lifting them above her head. As she fights back, she drags her feet, pushing against him. This happened at Lowe's in Bartlesville near Silver Lake Road in Southeast Adams Boulevard Tuesday evening around 5 p.m. Sergeant Chris Neal is from Bartlesville Police. He says the woman called for help and the man ran away. The actions, I think, were they're, they're, pretty, they're pretty scary. You know, it's a little unbelievable. And, you know, anytime you put your hands on another person, I mean, it's, it's just wrong. Especially when you talk about, you know, you know, the possibility that it was a stranger, somebody they had never met. And so it's, it's, it's pretty uncomforting. About an hour before the attempted kidnapping, police were called to another business where they caught a man who was pulling his pants up before running away. They think it was the same suspect involved in the attempted kidnapping. Police put out a warrant for the arrest of this man, Quincy Wilson, for attempted kidnapping. Quincy Wilson, man. <laughs> oh, Quincy, man. He, like, he looks like a large dude. Yeah, yeah. National, you're the basketball American, man. Salute to the basketball American, man. Savage, your, your device is not connected, Savage. Um, yeah, man. Marcy, what do you think about this, man? Broad daylight sun, man, trying to kidnap a white woman in, and and I mean the most conspicuous of places. And just like don't give a fuck. Is it time to bring back sundown towns? <laughs> I mean, I'm not surprised that it happened. Uh, a couple months back in Columbia, not like about about a quarter of a mile from where I live, there's a Walgreens, and this guy, uh, this dude tried to, um, this young guy tried to rape a guy, tried to rape a woman in the store. And it was around, it was like around like six p.m. that six p.m. in the afternoon. And the crazy, the crazy thing is, that's a, that's a store that I I go to a lot. I said in, I said in a previous uh, a previous live stream, I said it's a good thing I, I wasn't there. He was trying to rape you. No, <laughs> no, I'm gonna, no, I'm more like, I'm gonna, I'm more like I'm gonna cap them. Uh, but he got, but I wasn't there. But he got jumped. But he got jumped by by the, by the, some of the customers there, and he was he was later arrested. But it was crazy. He tried to rape, tried to rape the woman in the in the, in, in the aisle. Damn, I mean, I you so silly. <laughs> this shit is bold, though, man. Like. I mean, like the, the the police chief is shocked. I'm shocked. Marcy's not shocked. I guess. Well, I mean, this is. I mean, are you serious, man? He's just gonna try to take kidnapping right there off the sales floor. It's like some men think they're going shopping and shit. Like this ain't IG where you just fucking pick out the model and fucking get the DMs and telling you a flyer in. 
this is real life, man. You can't just pick up women like that. Man. What the fuck is going on, man? Remember, remember the bars in the bars in hell. So, am I am I surprised by any of this? And listen, man, I I didn't ask to come to Tulsa, so I know some people were like, man, you picking and choosing videos. You make. I just said, give me a city. And then <laughs> what's on the news, man? Obviously, they think that there's something need to be done about this, man. They can't say why, but they're just like, this is like a person that, like, you ever see a girl, she, she like an abusive relationship, and the dude will be screaming at her and shit, just be sitting there quiet, looking around and shit. Like, y'all see this nigga? He crazy as shit. I can't say nothing, but I just want y'all to see how crazy this nigga is. It's like, people are just like, hey, look. Look, what can we? I mean, like, we can't say nothing, but it, it, it look, look. Caught a man who was pulling his pants up before running away. They think it was the same suspect involved in the attempted kidnapping. Police put out a warrant for the arrest of this man, Quincy Wilson, for attempted kidnapping with a $150,000 bond. Around 12.20 on Wednesday afternoon, he was arrested in Tulsa and then taken to the Washington County Jail. Police say the victim and the suspect didn't know each other, and the community told me they're shocked. It's real scary, and that because I shop around here, and they're at Lowe's and everything, and, and that uh, I've never seen it before. I can't imagine what that poor worker went through just being tried to force out the door. Can only imagine what was going through her brain in that moment, and I'm glad it wasn't successful. Police say Wilson is known to them. We looked up his records and they show that he committed crimes in the early 2000s, including escape from a penal institution and robbery or attempted robbery with a dangerous weapon. And he has spent time in jail. Police are also praising the actions of the victim here. Coming up at six, what police say you should do if something like this happens to you. Covering news that matters, I'm Alex Cash, Fox 23. Uh, bro, as a woman, does that make you feel scared if you lived there if you lived in this area would that make you be on high alert or something like that absolutely he they found him with his pants down so you would be you'll be looking over your shoulder or you just be like what would you do like what do you how do you how, how does a woman like take extra precautions what do you do just look at everybody's face when you're driving, like you said. <laughs> look at everybody's face when you're walking. Mm. Me, mug. Oh, try to look not approachable. Yeah. Mm. 